trick or treat. Hey, happy Halloween. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. Those are some neat costumes you got on. Thanks. Our mom bought us it. That's nice. Well, I won't keep you kids waiting any longer. Each take your pick. Alright, now you kids run along and have a safe but fun Halloween. Ah, ah, what the? Ah, ah, suck on that, you dumb rabbit! Ah, not you kids again! Ah, oh god! No! Get out of here, you kids! <laughs> Every year, you always fall for our tricks. You'll never be able to outsmart us. Oh, really? So that's how it's gonna be? Well, now it's time to show you my trick! What's he doing? Probably gonna get in trouble with that big bear. I don't know. Is this your trick? Peeking through us like a creeper? How original. <laughs> ah! Ah! That's right, you little brat. You better scream before I bite your heads off. Beat it! <laughs> that was brilliant, Nightmare Bonnie. I bet they won't be bothering us any longer. Well, Halloween is my favorite holiday for a reason. It is the spookiest time of the year. Yeah, and we get to tell stories and chow down on candy. Well, you can eat the candy. I've never liked it. It's way too sugary and sweet for my liking. That's fine. You don't have to eat it. Anywho, I'm going to head to the game area to do our yearly scary stories. Want to join? Yeah, sure, why not? Huh? Hey, Freddy, why are all the Halloween decorations out here instead of the party room? I'm switching things up. The toys in some of the fun times said they were tired of the party always being at the same place. So I thought I'd have one here. <laughs> There's no way you could set up all those decorations just in one night. I may not on my own, but with your guys' help, I can. Wanna help out? I don't see why not. What are you boys doing? Well, you and your friends said you wanted something different, so I thought I'd have the party in the main dining area this time. And I figured the more wide open space will help with the sense of being unnerved. No, Freddy, we met a different setting overall. The pizzeria is creepy at night, but it's the same old thing we do every year. Yeah, we want to go somewhere else completely. Um, okay. Any ideas? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I got one. How about we go in the forest, set up a campfire, and tell our spooky little stories there? That way, it'll really help bring up the creep factor. That's... actually not a bad idea. What do you say, girls? I think it would make the experience of telling a listen to scary stories way more better than in here. I conquer. What do you say, Freddy? Uh, I don't see why not. It is a beautiful night outside. Any particular forest you want to go to, Nightmare Bonnie? As a matter of fact, I do. I know this one forest like the back of my head since I actually used to visit it before, well, y'all discovered me out in the wild. And, uh, you guys alright with me driving this year? No, 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 not at all. I'll go gather the other animatronics. This seems like a peaceful place. It is, which is why I came here so often. The silence of nature really wasn't enough to soothe people when they're, well, uh, under stress. Hmm. Well, I suppose this spot will do. Yeah, this is perfect. I'll start the fire. I'll get the s'more set up. Mm -hmm. Nothing beats than having delicious hot s'mores in front of a nice roasting fire. You can say that again. <clears throat> Geez, Toy Freddy, slow down! Sorry, these are just really good. Anyways, I think it's time to roll out the stories. Who wants to go first? I think I'll go first. I have a pretty good story to share. Alright, let's hear it. Okay. <clears throat> it was a very quiet night out in the desert. Me and Mangle were on our way back after taking a night walk. It was very late at night, so the creatures who come out during the night were coming around. Whew, it's chilly out here. What do you mean? It's not that bad. I mean, it might not be for you, but for me it is. Eh, well I'm not cold. You should have brought a jacket. Hey, <sighs> I really should have brought me watch. We shouldn't have never gone out this late. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of scared, dude. Uh, well, why is that? 
Well, there might be, you know, wolves out here, coyotes. Oh, don't worry, Mangle. It's not like wild animals are gonna come out of nowhere and attack us. Yeah, true. Yeah, I think they're more afraid of us than we are of them. Yeah, how could that possibly happen? <sighs> hmm? Foxy, cut it out. Th that wasn't me, Mangle. Uh-huh. No, that for real, that wasn't me. Whatever. <sighs> What's that? Oh, uh... Oh, shoot! It's a wolf! Hey, get off her! Uh, get away from me, last you, you scary Latin lover! Foxy! Stay away from me, lass! Oh, Foxy, are you okay? Oh, I think so, Mangle. But more importantly, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Thanks for asking, but are you okay? I don't know. I just have... Oh my gosh, I have this big wound on my arm. Ugh, it's all green. Ew. Uh, no, Mangle, it's just a bite. I can just go inside and wash off. But we better get home right now. Yeah, let's go. Okay. <sighs> I am tired. Night, Foxy. <sighs> okay, good night, Mangle. I'm gonna go wash me wound. Ugh, this is really bad. All right, Mangle, I'm gonna go to bed now. Ugh. Are you sure you're doing all right, honey? Yes, dear, I'm okay. It's just me wound. I mean, I just got bit by it. A wolf of all creatures. All right, well, night. Good night. I love you. Love you too. <sighs> no, no, get away from my foxy. No. Mango, wake up! Wake up! What? You were having a nightmare. Oh. What, what was it about? I had a bad dream that I got attacked by that wolf that we had earlier, but it got me really bad, and I got even more damaged. Oh, I'm really sorry to see that, Mangle. Well, tonight was just, was just an unfortunate coincidence. How's your arm, by the way? Uh, it's, let me see. Ah! Oh, God, it hurts. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, they got painkillers? Uh, I'll, I'll take them in the bathroom. All right, they're in the closet. Thanks. You're welcome. It's gonna be okay. Ah, what the shell? What the shell was that? What the scallops? Yeah, it's Foxy okay! What in the world's wrong with Foxy? Foxy! Foxy! Are you in there, Foxy? You doing okay? Need a heat pad or something? Foxy? Uh, Mangle? Foxy, you're okay! Oh, God. 
know what happened. You turned into a werewolf and you tried to kill me. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mangle. We should have never gone out at that late at night. I, I think it's best we clean the mess up and go back to sleep. Yeah. All right, let's go. The end. Hmm. Not bad with story there, Foxy. Very intense climax at the end, I'll say. Okay, who wants to go next? <laughs> what? What is it? Nothing, Freddy. It's just a big tarantula cut on my arm. Ugh! I hate those things. <laughs> Are you serious? You afraid of a little insect? There is nothing to be afraid of. They're just little fur balls with legs. Yeah, with things that, it could be poisonous. You would have been freaked out too if something like that was crawling on you. You know what? As a matter of fact, I have a good story to share that involves around arachnids. <sighs> Say, uh, baby, do you think you could check the mail? Uh, of course. Thanks. Alright, let's get the mail. Uh, there's no mail, as always. Uh, ah! There's a spider! Ah! Die, spider, die! <laughs> oh gosh, that was the most scary spider I've ever seen. <gasps> what? What is it? Whoever's threatening my daughter, get off my property! Dad, it's nothing. They're just, they're just a spider down there, and it really scared me. Huh? What? <laughs> Elizabeth, you got worked up over a spider? It's scary and it's sus. I don't like it. Well, um, good lord, that's a huge spider. For real? Yeah, well, it's dead now. Just don't worry about it. Alright. Alright, well, that was a bit awkward. Yeah, sorry. I don't like spiders. No, yeah, it's fine, sweetie. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. Alright, night, Dad. Good night. <sighs> Alright, well, I guess I'll watch the news as I have nothing better to do with my life. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you this warning from the Tucson Laboratory. A tarantula has just escaped from one of the facilities. This tarantula was an endangered species and was taken to one of the labs for reproductive reasons. However, upon closer inspection of the arachnid, it was found that it had the unusual ability to achieve metamorphosis. This was first discovered when the tarantula grew two sizes its usual size the day after it was brought to the lab. So it was kept there until the entomologist was comfortable enough to let it go in the back in the wild. If you see this arachnid, then call your laboratory at once, and do not, we repeat, do not hurt it in any way. Otherwise, the spider will grow its full size and could lead to, to unpredictable and possible dangerous outcomes. What? That spider looks awfully similar to the one that I stomped on. Ugh. Well, uh, it can't be that. There's many spiders that look like that. <laughs> what was that? Uh, it's probably just my anxiety getting the back of me. Uh, um, uh, I guess I'll check the door since no one around here will do it. Man, I don't want to do this. Uh, just open this door. Gosh, it isn't there. Probably just screwed around, ran away. Ah, I can finally go back to watch whatever I want. Boring, boring. Ah, oh, everything's boring. Ah, might as well take a nap. Yeah. My hair, they're so annoying. Uh, what? Why do I feel like a pounding headache? Everything feels dizzy. Ugh, I know it. How? Baby, what's going on? Uh, I think we, I might have drank too much. Wait, what? Why is that? Why is the living room covered in cobwebs? Oh man, I know what happened. Spider Man must have came. What? Spider Man? Why would Spider Man do something like this? I don't know. Ever since that movie, he hated it and wanted to plot revenge. Oh, man. Baby, uh, it's not Spider-Man. 
It's probably this giant thing. Mm. That looks like a spider. Bubba, that's no, that's no ordinary spider. That's that's a beast of a spider. What you two punch up pretty? Yes, we were go we were going out to get some Hawaiian punch, but then we saw this, and then the spider just turned around and shot us with the web. And now we we can't move. Yeah, no, Josh Sherlock. What is this thing? What do you want from a spider? Well, say something. It can't answer you, Chica. Ah. God, get this thing off me! Hey, you barely got along! He's my friend after all! Oh, get away from me, you hairy thing! Fuck my friend, watch out! Oh. Uh, <laughs> hi, Spider! How are you? <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, I think it's trying to make you its dinner! But why would you want to eat us? We taste terrible! We taste like agony! You probably don't want Wait! Don't eat her! Eat me! Yeah! Come to mama! I'm KFC coming right up! Chica, are you out of your mind? Yes! Keep each other safe! <laughs> At least say excuse me. <sighs> oh, great. Hey, uh, we can talk about this! I got ice cream! Do you like ice cream? I can even spit it out of my stomach right here! Hey, you're getting real close to my- <laughs> Wait, what? How did he get away? No one touches my daughter like that. And what is th all this? Dad, don't say you well if this spider can get you. That's how I got tangled and all my other friends. Huh? What the? <laughs> oh, shoot. Dad, no. Who are you? Oh, God, I've never seen a arachnid this big. Get CNN, weirdo. Baby, you something to cut down this web. Okay, I'll find something. Bonnie, what should I do so I can free my dad? And a view, of course. But still! Uh, there's a huge kitchen knife in the kitchen holder. Get it. All right. Oh, yeah. This bad boy. Oh, I gotta be careful with this thing. It's about to be William Afton up in here. All right, I'm coming to save you, Dad. Well, okay, we'll watch out for the... Oh, oh my jangler thing! Oh, no! My remnant is escaping! Freddy! Freddy! We're okay! Wait, we are? Let's get out of here! Alright! Ah, baby, are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared! I don't know if I'll be able to beat this thing! Yes, you can, baby! Everybody gets scared now and then! The only way to face your fears is by facing them head on! Yeah, face that spider once and for all and kill that music man wannabe! Looks like you got a taste of your own medicine. Your time is up, Spider. Wait, I think it's dead. Wait, you think so? Um, let me see. Ah! Okay, it's not dead! Oh, for crying out loud, it's about time I put a cap in this witch. It's deja vu all over again. Okay, guys, it's done. Oh, uh, Dad, thanks for helping, and a uh, good performance. Ten out of ten. Really like the reenactment. Um, thanks, and I'm proud of you for conquering your fear of spiders, honey. Eh, no problem. Even though it was deadly, poisonous, could have killed me, but told me to face my fears over something deadly. Yeah, that's something to be proud of. Mm-hmm. Um, guys, this isn't over yet. What the heck are we gonna do with this cobweb of despair? Well, I have an idea. We can set up as cotton candy and serve it to the kids. No, fun time, Freddy. We're not doing that, you buffoon. That will poison the kids. I was just joking. Let's just clean this up. Ah, I'll get the broom. All right, I'm going to dispose of this thing. Uh... <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, God, my stomach. <laughs> what the, Jenga? You're alive? Oh, God, you guys stabbed me in the stomach. Inside that stomach, horrors! Nothing but horrors! Oh God, my, oh God, I need to take a shower. Oh. And that, my friends, is the end of the story. I say, that was a quite interesting but creepy spider story. Do you know what I think? 
I think it's your average depiction of spiders you see in the cheesy 1980s movies. Yeah, insects, animals, they all share something in common. They have emotions. You probably wouldn't like it if you were portrayed as violent like that. Guys, it's just a story. That's not how I actually view arachnids. I may not like them as much as you do, but I don't view them like that. Yeah, whatever you say. I'm gonna get some more. Don't listen to them, baby. I think your story was really good. Thanks, Ballora. Though they're just joking, and you know how they are with their jokes. Ah! Get it away! Get it away! Get it away! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Delsa just wants to be your friend. Oh, God, you, Freddy. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a pretty good trick, Fart Time Freddy. Anyway, um, who's gonna go next? Um, I don't have any stories to share, unfortunately. Thank God. But I don't have any stories to tell either. Neither do I. Um, do you have any stories to share, Nightmare Barney? Well, I do have this one tale, but I'm not sure if a lot of you will enjoy it. Oh, come on, Nightmare Barney. I'm sure it's really good. Well, all right, if you say so. <laughs> You've all heard the tale of the Boogeyman, or the Grim Reaper, right? Then you've never heard the tale of the Nightmare Box. It was an average day in a small, quiet neighborhood for this young boy. He was the more social awkward among the other kids in his surroundings. One day, his mother had bought an old music box she found at an antique store. She gave it to her son as he was told it would help him sleep better at night. The kid had the stereotypical fear of monsters living under his bed or closet. So he placed the music box right next to his nightstand, and it started to play this beautiful little melody. He enjoyed listening to the whimsical melody, and thanked his mother. And before she left the room, she boldly told her son that he was not to use it after midnight. The clerk who sold it to her never fully explained why, but she simply assumed that it's old and it would be best to only use it when needed. The boy, however, thought it seemed counterproductive for her to get a music box and then to be told off not to use it at a certain time. But he thought the music box looked cool and simply shrugged it off. As the night rolled in, the kid was getting ready for bed. He turned on his nightlight and turned off his lamp. After a solid hour had rolled over, the boy still had managed to fall asleep. The creaks and bumps of the night is what always kept him up, but tonight was a lot worse, since it had been a very windy and gusty autumn. He managed to doze off for a short while, but now he was wide awake again. He didn't know what to do in hindsight, until he remembered the music box his mother gave him. But he was told not to use it after midnight. It was at this point, he didn't care what would happen and just wanted a good night's sleep. So he wound up the music box all the way with a key that looked like it hadn't been used for a very long time. And the melody began to play. Oddly, however, it was playing in a very low pitch compared to the high and almost heartwarming tune it normally played. But the boy didn't care, as he found it very oddly soothing. And it wasn't long until he finally dozed off again. He finally got the sleep he was looking for. Or so he thought. The boy was awoken by subtle creaking noises coming from under his bed. He tried to turn on his lamp, but to no avail. He didn't dare to climb out of his bed, as he feared the worst. The creaking was only getting louder, and the strange noises started to erupt. He turned on his flashlight, and he saw long, pointed fingers wiggling out from the sides of his bed. He was petrified, and couldn't believe what he was seeing. A real monster, in the flesh, hiding under his bed. It wasn't long, however that the fingers started wiggling back from under his bed and disappeared. The boy was left frozen in fear for a bit, but as he peeked under his bed to see if this monster was still there, nothing. 
He was relieved at first, but his relief didn't last long. And just like that, the little boy was never seen again. That story was better than I expected. Indeed, very unexpected. Say, does anyone know what time it is? Yeah, I have my phone with, and I- WHOA! It's past 12 a.m. Okay, well, I think this will be a good time to stop. It's starting to get cold out here. You know, Freddy, we should do this more often instead of always having the Halloween parties at the pizzeria. Yeah, I know. I'll brainstorm some ideas for next year. He switched sides. This is not the Nightmare tradition. Nightmare is not going to be too happy about this. Come on, Cupcake. It's time to get back home. She better have good news. Nightmarian, I regret to inform you that Bonnie has betrayed us. I saw him with the animatronics in the forest nearby us, and he didn't attack them once! I thought he was gonna set them up for something! What? The traitor? I always thought he was the weak leak. What are we gonna do now, boss? First, our play involving that magic book didn't work, and now this happens! <sighs> this was news I did not want to hear. I'm sorry, sir. Please forgive me. You are not to blame for this, Chica. I should have seen this coming. If Bonnie isn't gonna make the moves, we're gonna make them ourselves. You all know I created Lefty to capture Puppet, right? Yeah, why do you need Puppet anyway? When I created Lefty, it took the last of my gift life powers, and I need Puppet's energy to replenish my fully. Then I can mass reduce my endo army to take over the pizzeria as well as the city. Huh, I like the sound of that plan, but how are we gonna get Lefty in the pizzeria without making it suspicious? I haven't gotten that far. I need to think on that. Hmm. Hmm. You know, we still have some leftover endoskeletons scattered around. We could see if there's any power left in them. Say. If they work, then I think we can use them to our advantage. Gather the parts up and see what we can turn up. Yes, sir. Enjoy your fun while it lasts, Fazbear's, because pretty soon, we're gonna be the ones having it. 